you know, I think it's really important in life to do whatever you want to do. Like, do what you want in life, but I think it's really important to make sure that you're actually doing what you want to do. Like, are you actually doing what you want to do or are you copying and pasting your favorite influencer's life and trying to make it your life? Are you copying and pasting what your favorite rapper is doing and trying to make it your life? You feel me? Like, I feel like right now it's really important that we stop trying to take social cues from anybody but ourselves. Y'all, I was outside for like an hour just I'm bathing, so I know I probably look really brown. And I'm proud. Oh, I'm socks. <laughs> One second. If you didn't drink enough water today, get you some water right now for this video. I'll wait. No makeup, just, you know, second, third day hair here. But, you know, we're always making it and never faking it. But yeah, what's good, y'all? It's your girl, Miss Mystical Rose. Welcome back. If it's your first time seeing my face, um, I basically make videos to help you create your optimal life experience um, by energy healing. So if that sounds like your type of party, you need me. Go ahead and subscribe. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be putting y'all in my business. I'm going to basically be sharing with y'all like why I stopped doing OnlyFans. Um, I used to make like... <laughs> I made it like, I, I would only do it for like a month at a time, but in a month I made as little as $2,000 and I made as much as $5,000 on there, but I quit and I just wanted to share it and put y'all in my business on wham. So before I get to like why I quit, I just thought maybe it would be cool to get y'all like a little bit of background tea. I've always kind of dabbled in sex work, meaning like I've done escorting, um, I've done just other things like lap dance in a trap house, you feel me? Like, and like, I've always just like been okay with kind of using my sexuality to get certain things. But for me, it's always been like some break the glass type stuff. Like in case of emergency, I'ma turn up, you feel me? Like it was never like looking back at it, sex work was never anything I really was like, yeah, I love doing this. Um, and I know for some people it's like that. And if it's like that for you, then cool. But for me, I always enjoy being a woman because I know like if I need money, it's really easy to <laughs> it's really easy to get. So um, I've used my sexuality in that way. Now, as far as OnlyFans, what's so interesting to me is that OnlyFans isn't even a platform for that necessarily. It's really a platform where like creators can just create and it got like this super sexual connotation to it. And I just don't even recall like how that even happened. I'm trying to like think about when OnlyFans first became popular and I'm really, I'm trying to think like when OnlyFans first became popular and how we got to that place where it's like, we want to be half naked and fucking on here. Or excuse me, I'm trying to like <laughs> clean it up. Hey, LaShawn to me, girl. If you watching this video, girl, we trying to work on our language. That's my, that's my girl. That's like my best friend. I love y'all. Hey, girl. But, uh, <laughs> but I really don't like get how an app like that was turned so sexual and it's just like yeah but i first started only fans back in 2018 it's 2021 now um the only reason why i started back then is like i said like it was on some break the glass type stuff you know i had just lost my job and I just knew I could like run it up on there and I did it, girl, like what? Um, back then is when there was this app called Periscope. If you know, you know, like Periscope was great for getting people to join your OnlyFans. Like that's how it was so easy for me. Um, so I did it for like that reason, but I only did it for like a month, like I said, because it never really felt like like, I never really liked, like, to do it. I just knew I could do it. I mean, I would like taking sexy pictures of myself. I was never on there hunching. I was never on there busting it. I was never on there, like, sucking nobody off or nothing wild like that. It was no ski mask shorty. Like, I was just post sexy pictures, you know, show my boobs, my titties, you know, a little nice little thong picture, you know, little thong picture, showing that thong, 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 you feel me? 
Um, so I used to like just do that type of content on there. But um, yeah, so I had did that, like I said, in 2018. My first month on OnlyFans, I I can't even remember. I want to say I made at least like three racks. I made three racks my first month on there, but my subscription price was $30. So three racks wasn't hard. That's like a hundred people pretty much. A little bit more because they take a pay cut. But um, so like I said, I was really just doing that in case of emergency, but it was nice to get some savings and just have that for myself. And then afterward, I, like I said, I went back to working a regular job. Everything was everything. And then I just hopped back on there back in July. Yeah, I hopped back on there in July, but it wasn't really on some in case of emergency type tip. When I got back on there in July, I really was exploring it. Like, is, the, is this okay? Like, do I want to do this? Um, I'm very comfortable with my sexuality. Like, I love how I look. I love how my body looks. Um, a lot of men love how my body looks. So it was always a question of like, I knew I could, but it was like, does this really resonate and ring true with, with me? Like, and it just didn't feel like it. So basically the reason why I quit OnlyFans was because mainly I felt, I didn't feel like it was really something I genuinely wanted to do. I've always been somebody who believes in myself. I know I can do whatever it is that I want to do, you feel me? But for me, with OnlyFans, it was like, I know I can do this, but I've kind of been on some real, like, personal evolution type shit. And it just felt like that didn't belong in my life anymore. It felt like, you know, I want to be respected. And I, I mean, it's not to say that women who do OnlyFans um, can't be respected, but I the end of the day I know like the other things that I want to do in my life that I'm gonna do in my life and so it's like to kind of have that as like the basis and then go and try to go into doing other things and being in other circles and trying to work with other people in the public eye for me I just didn't feel like it was a good career choice anymore it's like I want to start my platform on here like and actually be feeding people good things um, and then another reason why I stopped doing OnlyFans is because I'm a spiritual guru. <laughs> I'm a spiritual guru, y'all. Like, I'm literally, like, an energy healer. I know all about that energy. You yeah, feel me? And so, for me, it was like, I completely understand for men, from that standpoint, for men, semen retention is really, like, important for them. I feel really bad because, like, a lot of men are over-sexualized. They're doing this porn. They watch porn too much. They don't even know how to connect with women anymore. And it's just weird to me. And then I really had to think, like, I want to be part of the solution in life. Like, I'm not going to be one of those people who's like, oh, well, um, you know, whatever, everyone else is doing it. No, it's a problem. Like, the over-sexualization of our culture in general right now, for me, it's a little bit of a problem. So it's like, yeah, I can be comfortable with my sexuality, but I also feel really exclusive. And it's like, I am felt some type of way about the fact that whoever could see me like that, like... You just pay a little fee and then you can see all my little treats, you know. I, I really started to feel like that wasn't appropriate for me. And then I think really a huge, huge one for me as far as like why I quit doing OnlyFans was because I feel like OnlyFans is being marketed um, not for the best reasons. I feel like there is a really, I feel like right now is the time where we have to be mindful of how like mainstream media is harvesting our energy. Like I, I just like remember Beyonce saying on that demon time. And it's like, we have to be careful about that type of stuff. Like why would I want to be on demon time? It's like, mm, I don't, I'm done dancing with demons. I've, I've cut all my demons heads off. I'm, I'm over here parlaying with angels, you feel me? And so for me, it just felt like my energy, what, like, it just felt like I wasn't consciously choosing to do it because I really wanted to do it. It felt like I was 
making excuses like, oh, okay, it's the cool thing to do, it's the mainstream thing to do, and then I was just doing it because kind of, I don't want to say everyone else was doing it, but because I knew it was kind of socially acceptable right now to do it, it would be okay, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I think it's really important in life to do whatever you want to do. Like, do what you want in life. But I think it's really important to make sure that you're actually doing what you want to do. Like, are you actually doing what you want to do? Or are you copying and pasting your favorite influencer's life and trying to make it your life? Are you copying and pasting what your favorite rapper is doing and trying to make it your life? You feel me? Like... I feel like right now it's really important that we stop trying to take social cues from anybody but ourselves, you know? And so what works for you don't work for me. And so, um, and so for me, it just felt like sex work and OnlyFans. Um, it just felt like sex work and OnlyFans and all that stuff that I used to do. Just, it wasn't a part of where I'm going in life. And it just didn't feel compatible to who I was anymore. And mind you, between 2018 and now, I've done a lot of like, whoa, like I'm a completely different person. Uh, like it's beautiful and I love her and I love it here, you know, and I just see my life so clearly as far as like who I am, why I even chose to be born because contrary to popular belief and subscribe because I'm so into this stuff. I am an eternal student of life and I've learned so much that I just really want to share with as many people as possible. But for me, it's like I got to also know the nature of life and existence and it's like you choose to come here and then I really started to ask myself for me that was a deep notion like if I choose to come here did I really come here to try to like get a quick buck and you know sell my sexuality no and then I think another thing as well with the OnlyFans is like I want to move with integrity. You know, I only want to do things that hit me in my heart that really make me like, I like to do this. Like creating YouTube, like my YouTube channel. Y'all, I love y'all. I love creating these videos. I love supporting people on their journey of just like growth and living their best life. Like literally, you feel me? And so it's like, for me, I never want to, and not that I never, but that was also something else I had to check myself on, is like I was making decisions for money. Like I would deal with a guy because he had money. I would do this because of money involved. And then at that point, it's like, oh shoot, that just scared me. <sighs> y'all, I be seeing like all type of stuff. Like, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm a spiritual chick, and I just, like, open up different things within myself. So, sometimes I see things, and I just saw something out of the corner of my eye. So, forgive me. Uh, but for me, money, I just want to make sure that I'm always moving in integrity with my heart. And I just decided that I was tired of making money my master. I was tired of doing things for money. You know, that's why a lot of people are afraid to step out on faith and try to do what they really want to do because they're worried about their money situation or just that's what has a lot of people treating people good or bad is because of money. Like I've met so many cornballs with money and I know they be getting played just because they got money. And so I'm just over money. Like I think it's cool. It's a great tool to like live whatever life you want. But I just felt like I was tired of letting money decide for me what I was going to do. And I just decided that I wanted to make decisions based on my heart and what I really felt led to do versus like, oh, I can do that to get money. You feel me? Like, I just only want to move in integrity with myself and with my heart. And in my heart, it just didn't feel like I was a match for doing OnlyFans anymore. Um, it felt like that was something old that I just, it just didn't belong to me anymore. And then, you know, I just felt like I used to be over-sexualized. I did deal with somebody who kind of like over-sexualized me a little bit and had me like my sacral, that's your sacral chakra area is like your sex organs. So my sacral energy was like way overactive um, because I was dealing with somebody at one point who's energy was overactive there and so it kind of like transferred over to me and I had to let that energy go um but yeah I hope that something in here resonated with you if anything I would just say if you're doing OnlyFans make sure it's what you want to do and make sure you're not using mainstream media to like um kind of make you feel like 
make you or like validate your decisions like i want for everyone to make decisions that actually resonate with them from the inside out instead of feeling the pressures of making decisions from the outside in like feeling pressure to live a certain way feeling pressure to wear your hair a certain way you know i want like us to get into the habit of really asking ourselves like am i doing this because it's the popular thing to do am i doing this because you know it's been accepted and it's validated by mainstream media or am i doing this because i really want to do it and i even went through that same process with starting my youtube channel it was like why do you want to do this are you trying to be like everybody else like what like what is it giving sense? like why and it's like do nothing without intention is ultimately it and i decided you know i actually enjoy making videos i enjoy editing them i enjoy all of it um, OnlyFans, I didn't really actually enjoy creating it, and it just didn't feel like it was aligned with my reason for being born, pretty much. Um, so yeah, I hope this inspires you to really ask yourself, um, first of all, am I making decisions with money in mind? Is money my master? Is money ruling all of my decisions? Or am I making decisions based on, like, what I really want, what I really believe, what I really like in life, you feel me? And so... Um, I just hope that this inspires y'all to just double think or, you know, think twice about some of the decisions you're making and just make sure you're doing it because you actually want to do it and not because it's what everyone else is doing, okay? It's time to get off this follow the leader ass wave. Um, individuality is so in right now and yeah. So that's all I have for this video today. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with y'all. I'm about to be out. I love you. I will see y'all in the next video. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment, share if you care, and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah. Peace.